Yo, what it is and what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kai and today we're going to be trying out Blox Fruits. My friends have been telling me for literally the longest time, just try out Blox Fruits and I haven't listened to them at all. I played Grand Peace Online before in the past, so I kind of already understand the mechanics of this game. So let's make it a series where we go from noob to literally king of the pirates. So you guys better get ready and strap in because we're about to set sail. Let's go! So my friends Chet and Mao actually jumped into the world with me so we could take it on together. Chet was actually just getting ready to explain to me how the scaling works in this game because I know it's just a little bit different than G-Pose. I'm pretty sure it's actually a little bit harder. Pause. So we got to kill five. Okay, so the thing that's different, I guess, in this game compared to G-Pose, once you get something, it's not good. Like you see at the bottom, it says um mastery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So say like you're somebody with like the light light fruit and you have mastery three and you're versing somebody with mastery like a at what max 600 yeah. you're probably like i'm imagining that's how the damage scales it is you're yeah. gonna get like and Jeepo, you could be what level one or you can't be level one yeah it's all on your stats in that one but this one has stats too if you click menu i see a stat button stats you get melee defense sword gun and blocks root so knowing that i went and i started my training arc and i like my results I was feeling good, I was doing great. I even took a break. I hung out with some snowmen, I rolled for a devil fruit, I got the pawpaw, that's not bad, that's pretty good. And then I saw something in the distance, and I just knew, this is the start of my downfall. So as I'm flying over here, I start to think, why is this island so far? And it's for a reason, and I had to find out, of course, the hardest way possible. Oh, it's Frankie. I wonder if he's a bad guy. Mink, mink, mink. Uh, oh. huh? So clearly I'm delusional because I think, eh, he can't be that bad. He's level 650, and for some reason I think I can take him. So I keep trying over and over and over again, and guess what? I still don't beat him. Oh. Oh. I got him this time. No way I don't. <laughs> Bro, I don't get it. He keeps farting on me. So after being utterly humiliated, I actually teamed back up with Chet and we headed online so we can try and challenge some of the people in the server. And then everything was going fine until we uh until we met this guy. I'm not into this. He's just waiting for us to get down. Look, he's about to one-shot us. I want to know what... Yo! That's kind of sick. I'm holding him. He's still dodging. He's still still totally dodges. So, I actually made an oopsie. I forgot to turn my PvP back on and this guy was in a different class than us. I literally could not touch him. Even if I had turned it back on, we still would have gotten worked. We were like filler characters and this is his anime. It was bad. He constantly kept one-shotting us until the point where we gave up and we just asked him, what level are you? And he told us this. <laughs> Max level. I, I, I asked him, I was like, what level are you? He said Max. So after getting completely decimated, I asked Chet if he wanted to help me get my revenge on Frankie because I so desperately needed to see a W. We headed off to Water 7, and on our way to Frankie, we actually found a Devil Fruit. It was the Diamond Fruit. Not too bad, right? And after getting back to Frankie, this time I just knew things are going to be different. And there's just no way I'm leaving here with an L. I just can't. I can't lose again. <laughs> Please. Oh, 
finally, we dropped off Frankie and it felt so great. But honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do this without chat. He absolutely carried me through this. But that doesn't really matter. We still beat him. We didn't get any drops though, but it don't really matter. We beat him, I got the XP, and I leveled up. So, it was good in my book. And with Frankie dead, I finally reclaimed some of my pride. I said goodbye to Chet, and with that, we're gonna wrap the video up there. By the next video, I'm gonna be at least 10 times stronger. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and a comment and subscribe, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Peace.